Hello and welcome to task number one for level two PHP conditions. Today we'll look at PHP conditions which include if statement, if else statement, if else if, else statement and switch statement. We'll look at all of these step by step as again but first we need to say the concept of flow control. Well flow control is like a how basically a program decides to take actions against what parameters like let's say the at particular at particular function function a when it gives you a particular value b you need to uh, perform a certain function this is how basically flow flow control the conditions help us to like do this uh, this sort of stuff it's like if, uh, I would say rather okay if there is no decision element within the languages then those languages like are like not quite complete or usable well now let's just start each of them like uh, first of all the if statement if statements are the ones which basically allows the program to continually execute the portion of the code as per the condition right so here's it a simple syntax if condition of the expression or whatever the expression you are using like uh, let's take an example I'm using a notepad let's say we have a number we assign a numeric one and we want in case uh, when this expression as you can see is conditional expression conditional expression we need to write num equals to one here is an assignment operator that we were talking about we are using over here we just I did this thing in the last uh, level okay now we need to echo uh, let's say what we did the number provided pro number provided is one okay let's try out this example uh, we want to save it to our local host group that is task Mm, saving it as task one for level and just like removing the previous task. Okay, uh, task one dot php and let's try out task one. Okay. Yeah, here you go. See that first of all we checked out over here that is our condition true and if it's true then echo the, the number provided as to one one. Let's try out changing the number numeric. Now we change the value, it should not now execute. See, it's not executing right now. This was the, uh, this is how we see if uh, condition was. Now we come into our second uh, statement that is if else statement. If else statement allows you to have two actions against, let's say your conditions comes falls over here as you can see that it wasn't uh, uh, there was no action against the wrong condition like when the condition doesn't match so if basically does the work which like uh, when the condition condition is true this uh, if statement is executed and if it's wrong then else basically help us to take action against those wrong condition wrong or false conditions right now in order to take an example we just uh, start again start again and now we need to write an else condition even now let's say we say over here are uh, wrong value well they can be used particularly when you are taking a user in, uh, when you are taking an input from the user so Let's say you take an input from the user that assigns a value like 3 and you need to again that uh, as per that value you need to take an action. So you can use these kind of conditions over there. Now these are just an example. I'm just yeah, see since it was a wrong statement, so it's displayed wrong, wrong value in fact. In fact we just wrong there. Let me show you administrative the report. Okay, we wrote wrong. Right. 
Okay. Now coming to the what do you call the if else if else statement. Well, this is again over here we can have a multiple of conditions. As you can see over here, condition number one. Then else if allows you to add more conditions. You can add as much else if condition as you want. Well, we over here we just using two of them. Firstly, over here, let's say let's just copy this all. Quick word. Okay, just explain you a bit. Well, let's say this is first condition. Well, we use number one. Uh, if number one value has one value, then show this. And if has two values, then show this. And if condition isn't met, that means if the value isn't in our record, so we just save. We just uh, equal no record for this value. Okay. So it's C. That's even by this now see uh, it has two value now you'll see okay, what if we have one value so I'll show you one first condition is true in case we write something else so no record for this value okay now okay this was if else if else statements now the switch statement Switch statements are almost the same as if else if else statements. The difference being that it's uh, it's comprised of several blocks actually. So it allows you to add more conditions. And over here you have a default condition as well. Let's say like else thing. Whatever we were using it in else statement, uh, else statement block, you can write simply over here in the default block. Okay? So just let's take an example for this. Again, using this example, we okay. facing right now. First of all, I'll be explaining it a bit. Maybe, oh yeah, maybe. Okay, dollar number equals to one. Okay, we assign the value one. Here's a mistake over here. I need to correct a bit. Yep, here's a mistake. So case one, we say uh, case one, we say uh, it should equal number one, and then break. Breaks are like uh, if you don't use break over here, then it will continue with the case, checking out the case. So better to use the break. It allows you to go out of the block or uh, switch state actually. Okay, case number two is uh, if let's say number numeric number one has a value. Num, num, and number has a value 2, then it will show you okay, num 2 in fact, that was a bit wrong there okay, now case okay, 3 should okay, case okay, 3 case okay, 4 great, now here's the default what we used to write in else statement so it's the same as, let me just oh uh, yeah, it's the same as what you uh, did for if else if else statement. In fact, if we if I remove these two, it will perform the same thing as in fact these two. Uh, it will perform the same stuff as performed by if um, my last example. Okay, now saving it. To start one three. Okay, now we need to operate it. Okay, here you go. Since uh, number one has the value one. So it shows our first state one. If let's say we have value three over here, it will show you number three. This is how switch taking is working. Okay. I hope these conditions are quite easy to get. And I'm not. I'm. I'm I may have them that's just a bit fast over here. But uh, if you go through your text, it will explain explain you each of the stuff very nicely. And if you're still having a bit of problem with these. Let me know using our system. Thank you.